What's up, YouTube? I'm back. You got another video today. Before we get to this video, Face Jarvis got liquid with the fight. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share. The case, bro, he did not get a knockout. He just did that one, bro, bro. He's choked, bro. I don't know why he's so hype over it, but I'm gonna react to his video. I won. I liked it because he won. I guess he, I guess he did one, but he still lost in my books. I'll make a video about it tomorrow. Man, he's man. He got lucky. This is not no, this is not no full screen reaction. On June 12th, I plan to shock the world and knock out TikTok star Michael Lee. This fight is the TikTok, to commu the the TikTok community is weak. I'm more than just a kid that plays games and makes you. You are just a kid that plays games and make videos. You are. Because that box, if you you never have boxing in your arsenal. Videos because these past few months, I've been taking this seriously. And in three months, this is what I've been able to achieve. With 24 hours before and this man have the right to put pro boxer in his thing, and that's his first fight. Yeah, this man put pro boxer in his, his about section, like, bro, like, no. I dislike the video. Man got man got lucky number one training. You guys saw the way in, you guys might know that nothing happened, but behind the scenes my trainer Otis Pimpleton confronted their team, which spiced things up between our camps. Man, who is nobody just trying to do, bro? You're, bro, who are you? Who are you? We are champions. Even getting to step in the ring that I was going to fight in, I couldn't wait to do this for real. But one hour before the fight, I get news that my fight might have headgear, which means I wouldn't be able to smash this kid's head in as much as I wanted to. So on the day of the fight, that's when they let us know that there's headgear. Not even the day of the fight, man. Headgear. What kind? Of, what kind of excuse is that, bro? Headgear, bro? No, they did not. rules alike. So we should be able to do no headgear if both fighters have agreed to that. And then the boxing commission pulled through. After the second fight that they do not have to wear the Wakam's headgear, according to the to the Wakam commissioner. But that's what I just heard. Uh, yeah, so you guys are good to go. As the fight was getting close, of course, I was getting nerves about it. The all. nerves, boys, they're definitely there. You know, like my coach said, it's always good to have nerves, you know. Human. I feel ready. I actually... I can't wait. I just can't wait to get in there. I'm excited to get in there. Everyone else in the room felt the nerves. I didn't expect to feel like so I can't even talk about it. More nerves than you expected? Yeah. Okay. Just, just natural though. Yeah. I'm, it's not like I don't have, I have all the confidence in Jarvis. It's just, I'm down. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm liking the vibes. It's pretty calm. What vibes? Yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. What vibes are you talking about? This is about to be a fight. There's no vibes in fight. Nervous, but I'm anxious for it to get started. I think uh, I think our boy Jarvis is prepared, so I'm just ready to get in the ring. Yo, 
I appreciate all you guys supporting me. I'm going to get this dub right now. You already know it. We're doing it. This is my time. I'm going to take it. There was one thing missing, which I... showed you guys my brother Frazier surprised me with this one of one boxing outfit specifically made for fight day and stay tuned because one lucky person watching this might win it Otis had one thing we kept saying before the fight tick tock time is up Mother <laughs> <laughs> I see the nerves in your eyes Otis who even is you you not no you not no boxer trainer bro like, you don't even look like one, bro. Man, I don't know how white people be hiring random people, bro. That's weird. Before the walkout even started, that's when the real nerves kicked in. You know, I was waiting. You know, I saw Michael walk past me. He was doing his walkout, and I was just waiting to go out. You know, I could hear the crowd, the atmosphere. And you know you were scared the because me, he got there before as, you. As soon as I walked out, as soon as I got past that, and I heard my song come on, I felt way more calm and relaxed. Yeah! Let's go! Man, as soon as I stepped in that ring, I just saw a different side of me. I was I was fully locked in. I wasn't even thinking about anything that was going on. Bro, why are you so excited for it? The high five haven't even started. I like bro. Started. As soon as soon as he had that first punch, I just felt with the adrenaline and that inner anger that was inside of me just come out. Well, if you had that punch, you would have lost it, bro. You would have lost. The first day when I smacked him over the head twice with the right hand. You see me in the clip. There's a slow mo clip, and you see me. I'm you literally sure slapped his dumb ass. The, the only reason why you win because you slapped the crack out of him. You got luck. <laughs> thinking to myself, man, I shouldn't be doing this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use all my energy purely just from screaming. Oh, I felt, it felt great. Uh, in the corner, you know, Otis was telling me, you know, you're doing great, you're doing great. That was really it. He asked me how. All right. He know you love me, bro. I was doing, I said I was feeling great, felt like a champ, and I got up and round two started. Bro, get that BS out of here, bro. That was not no knockout, bro. Michael Lee probably just weak or something, bro. No way that was a knockout, bro. No way. Why are you scared, bro? That was luck. That night changed everything. The fight was number one trending on Twitter. Offset came to congratulate me. Floyd as well. Floyd? No. Floyd brother, break us off with Jake Paul. Going crazy. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. You got your fans. Uh, you lucky. Officially the next day. I woke right, up. Cool. I got no bruises. I'm looking, I'm looking great. Respect to Michael Lee. You know, that was a great fight. Both of us. No, it was not, bro. That was, not, that was a lucky you fight. Know, that was no a BS fight and so bias fight. So, you know, I hope you'll enjoy it. Really that was bias. Night of the fight. This is what I came out in. I can't, I, you know, I wore those shorts. I wore this jacket. This was the fit. I was looking fresh. And you you know, no. you guys really supported me throughout this whole journey, so I really want to give back to you guys. I just dropped my new clothing line. If you haven't seen it already, it's called Band for Life. You know, we got the t-shirts, we got some t-shirts, we got some shorts. I'm wearing the joggers right now. 
There's a lot more pieces, you know. The only bo the boxers is one still talking about their own past life. Boxers won't weekend, talk about that. And, you know, I'm excited. I can finally give it to you guys. And if you want to win either the top of the shorts, I'm going to be giving it to a lucky person. Buy the merch. Just tweet at me pictures of your order confirmation. And two of you guys are going to be surprised with this. So, uh, you know, I appreciate everything you guys have done for the last few months. And let's keep it going. <laughs> Alright man, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, and notification when I'm out. Peace. Fade drivers.